gift, and the lady was looking at my passport and saying, you can't spend more than 90 days in a 180-day period. So I was like, I wasn't even in Europe in June. And the lady's like, yeah, you were. Oh, yeah, I was in Sayus in June. That's right, I was in Europe, but for sure not July. And then the lady's like, is this even your passport? <laughs> just arrived to Chris's house, and we're probably just gonna cook some dinner, chill out, no internet, so we'll have to actually talk to each other. <laughs> Growing up, I knew that I loved climbing, and I knew that this is something I wanna do for the rest of my life. And Sasha, when was the last time you, we were here together? I think like three years ago. I met Sasha over 15 years ago when she was just a little girl, when she was coming to my kids' camp, and to see her evolve and become the person that she is today. It's so cool and just, yeah, really proud of her. Chris it's has really... always been, like, my idol. I mean, I hope to, that, like, Chris would one day remember my name. <laughs> it's, like, the goal. <laughs> <laughs> Everything I do comes from this phone. I mean, I, I don't even let, like, an assistant do my social media. Can you pass that, dude? Bueno, pienso que en Shasha nos encontremos en un momento en el que ella también estaba un poco cansada de las competiciones y le, le, le apetecía experimentar nuevas experiencias, ¿no? Y, y justamente nos encontremos en ese momento que a mí también estaba muy abierto a todo eso y hicimos nuestras primeras nuestras primeras vías juntos, ¿no? Yo creo que so I'm a full-time student at Columbia University and this semester I'm taking 19 credits. How many coffees? café? I'm constantly thinking that if I'm not doing something, either training or doing schoolwork, then it's like I'm wasting time, I need to be doing something productive, and it's hard to relax. She's in the middle of finishing university right now, so it's really quite impressive, you know, to manage trying to be a climber because there's so many obligations with sponsors and everything like that. Sometimes it's just good to go out for a few days and, you know, remember what it's all about. It's so steep. It's nicer than I remember it. <laughs> and honestly, I've yeah, never yeah. seen it so dry. It's like not a s even single hole wet. Digital system is this one, right? It's to the left, it's right here. Oh, okay. Just to the left of the tree. Right there. Right there. Oh, like where those draws are. Got it. Cool. I guess Sasha wants to try this 8C, an amazing 8C in Santa Linea called Digital System on this really nice rock with pinches. So. I guess it could fit her style, hopefully. Got a really distinct crux down there. It's like on a slopey tufa. And then you kind of come into it, get a high drop me, and like pounce to a pocket with two fingers. It's a hard dead point to like exactly stick. Really, today was like feeling the moves and figuring out what was possible and how to get through certain sections. I'll learn a lot more by hopping on a challenging route for me than by sticking within my comfort zone. Coming from New York and having two days in probably one of the world's hardest climbing areas is uh, a little bit of a whirlwind. <laughs> That's so awesome. Well, I'm so glad. Nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you too. <laughs> How long are you guys here for? Just two weeks. Okay. What about you? Uh, two days. <laughs> really? So you're here for two days? Yeah. Lately, my schedule. I guess it's been a little bit fluctuating. I was going to school Tuesdays through Thursdays in New York and bringing my suitcase to class and then going Thursday through Monday night or Tuesday morning to places like California to climb in Yosemite. So today when I was resting, 
not climbing, just selfieing. Video has no sound. Good. <laughs> Who do I caption it? The advent of social media has really taken the ability to share action sports to a new level. A lot of content is being produced about what it is exactly that I'm doing when I go off to Spain for a weekend and being able to share that with my friends that aren't climbers. The times that I really feel success and I feel this unparalleled sense of satisfaction is when I've gone through the ulterior phase, which is really struggling and failing and falling and testing my limits. That's hard to be motivated for. It's hard to, to fall again and again. And it's also honestly hard to see that your career is going to have ups and downs. She's a passionate climber and she wants to try things that motivate her and it's interesting as a as someone who's dedicated their life to climbing hard routes and the moments of success are so small compared to the moments of failure. Whoa. Now as part of being a professional climber it's not just climbing hard routes outside or doing well in competitions. It does take work on a, on a professional level. Well, that was tough. <laughs> Thing is about outdoor climbing is that the climb isn't going to go anywhere. It's always going to be there for years. So if a climb doesn't go on one trip, I know that I'll be back and do it another time. <laughs>